You know what the best feeling in the world is? Waking up and feeling refreshed knowing that you got enough sleep. Honestly, hear me out. When is the last time that you felt that way? Sleep has become this overrated thing because we tend to overwork ourselves and not take care of ourselves. Sleep is the one thing that I prioritize pretty much over everything, including my fiance and exercise program. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my nighttime routine and why I incorporate magnesium, aromatherapy with lavender oil, and pistachios into to my nighttime routine. What's up, super foodies? My name is Tessa. I'm a licensed and practicing pharmacist, as well as a NASM certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. But of course, my sole passion is really using superfoods, supplements, and other alternative therapies to prevent and reverse chronic diseases. Now I'm gonna get started with some of the basics, all right? To help sleep, I try to exercise every single day. I've noticed that when I physically exhausted myself, even if it was in the morning, I sleep way better than when I don't. I also try to avoid screens an hour before bedtime but let's be honest that one is like super hard to avoid and it almost never works out so when I can I try I'm trying to opt in for reading or listening to podcasts to get away from the screens I also like to wind down with a little bit of meditation even if it's only for 10 minutes meditation allows me to put things in perspective and it helps me deal with those random thoughts that pop into my head as soon as I hit the pillow meditation allows me to let go of those thoughts so I'm not lying awake for two hours trying to figure out why the heck I dated that weirdo in high school or other thoughts like that. That isn't based on experience or my life at all. And of course, it's always really good to avoid foods that are high in sugar or caffeine later in the day so you're not left awake when all you wanna do is drift off into your dreamland and enjoy a good night of sleep. Also, I've noticed that if I eat a really big meal, even if it's mostly vegetables close to bedtime, it's way harder for me to fall asleep because I just feel kind of uncomfortable. Now that we've established the basics, time to get down to my favorite hacks. Now the two things sitting on my bedside table are magnesium and lavender oil. Magnesium was a game changer for me in my sleeping habits. Magnesium helps prepare your body for sleep by activating that rest and digest parasympathetic nervous system. Also regulates the hormone melatonin. We hear about melatonin all the freaking time, while magnesium is essential part in kind of regulating that. One study even showed that those taking a magnesium supplement achieved a deeper and more restful sleep as well compared to those that weren't. This group also expressed higher levels of renin and melatonin I will say that just keep in mind that this was a smaller study of elderly individuals, so take everything with a little grain of salt. Also, there was an observational study that found that a higher dietary intake of magnesium was associated with a longer duration of sleep at night and less falling asleep during the day. I will say that observational studies like this study aren't the best to use for solid findings, so once again, take it with a grain of salt. I can say personally that it's helped me a lot. I try to take the supplement around 30 minutes before I go to bed, so it has a chance to kind of break down in my body and start working before my head hits the pillow. For reference, my favorite magnesium supplement is from Pure Encapsulations, their magnesium citrate, because it is one of the most bioavailable forms of magnesium. So it really allows our body to absorb and utilize to the best of its ability, the magnesium within the supplement. I've linked my favorite magnesium supplement down below in the description if you guys wanna check that out. So like I mentioned before, I love using lavender essential oil. I actually have it in a roller form, like I said on my bedside table right here. From the research that I've done, lavender oil aromatherapy appears to reduce the time it takes to fall asleep, improve sleep, and reduce the kind of sleepy coma that you feel when you wake up in the morning. It is actually linked to increased melatonin levels following lavender oil inhalation. I will say that aromatherapy does have a little bit of conflicting evidence when it comes to sleep. One primary clinical trial shows that using lavender oil on kind of like a vaporizer overnight can help some people that experience mild insomnia as well. In contrast, there's other research showing that lavender oil, um, if you place it like three feet away from you during your bed, doesn't really do anything for sleep. The studies are a little conflicting, but I use it and I freaking love it. What I do is I take it, I rub a little bit on my forearms here, and I'll do this right before I actually get ready for bed as I'm washing my face, brushing my teeth. The lavender on my forearms is a little bit closer to my face and it's just easier. I just kind of breathe it and take it in as I'm getting 
getting ready for bed. Finally, there are some nights where it's just a struggle to sleep, like no matter what I do. And when I need a little extra help falling asleep, that is when I opt in for the food alternative for melatonin supplement, which is pistachios. So pistachios are one of the most melatonin rich foods and to get an effective dose of melatonin, all you have to do is just eat two pistachios, just two. The normal melatonin spike our brain gives us is equivalent to about 0.3 micrograms, which is just two pistachios. Now, I know you're probably saying, Tessa, you have mentioned melatonin like so many times. Why can't I just get a melatonin supplement? You talk about supplements all the time. What's the big deal? The reason I don't like taking melatonin supplements is because of the purity and the safety issues that melatonin supplements have. There are a ton of different studies showing that melatonin is one of the most impure and ineffective supplements on the market. Of course, if you get a high quality melatonin supplement, I'm all for that too, but I'd rather use these type of supplements than melatonin. Want to learn more about melatonin? I will link my melatonin video down in the description below and you can check that out at the end of this video. And with that, I'm like ready to go to bed right now. Like I'm tired right now. I hope this video helps you find a deeper, more restful sleep. As always, it's really important that you talk with your own doctor, your own healthcare provider, your own pharmacist about supplements and whether or not you should use them. There are dangerous interactions or important interactions with either disease states, other medications. We just want to make sure that you're supplementing in a safe way. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified each and every time I upload it. As mentioned before, I utilize my pharmacist knowledge, my certification in personal training and nutritional coaching, and I've created a 12-week lifestyle revamp program called Remedy. So in this Remedy experience, my sole purpose is to get you to those health goals that you've always wanted to achieve, but for some reason, you just can't get there. So if you would like to work with me one-on-one -on -one with either supplement consulting or my 12-week lifestyle revamp program, Remedy, I've linked my website down below in the description. Send me a little message on there and I would love to work with you. If you want more daily tips, tricks, hacks on superfood supplements, personal training, nutrition coaching, pretty much all things natural wellness, you can check me out on Instagram at the superfood pharmacist. All right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.